Their journey of discovery brings on a bout of seasickness in coach trip at five. First on four, Noel's maintaining his calm composure in deal or no deal. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The start of a new week. The dawn of a new week. And we're moving into, unfortunately, a new era because at last a trend has been broken. What do I mean by a trend? Well, actually, we've had a series of games where players who have left the game have found out that actually they brought a blue to the table. And those who decide to go all the way have been rewarded with a red. But as we proved yesterday, there is a real world, there is life out there. And this show does tend to mirror life. Yes, we'd had a good run and then it all came to a screeching halt. And what does it mean for these people? Well, actually, a slightly frightening and unnerving fact of life. Because there are 11 would-be players here and the fact of the matter is... Some of them will go away holding their dreams. Some of them will go away with a huge amount of money and inevitably some of them will see those dreams pass through their fingers like sand. It's what this game is all about. Who will be lucky? Who will be unlucky? Out of these names. Please believe me, I want you to succeed, but of course he now wants you to fail. And... <laughs> Come on, Anne, make it your big day. Thank you. Please you take a seat. A you want that on the chair? Yeah, please. Righty-ho. Could this be <laughs> the start of a new era? No bow or curtsy to the West Wing or the East Wing. Yes, sorry. No bow, no bow to the pilgrims. Just straight out, where's the money? I want that money. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> it's all right. I've got I... too much in my head. It's your game. You can do whatever you want. So what's Sunny in your head? Fans. What's it... in your head? Oh, loads of big money signs. Loads of... Get here. Get, get the money. Get money signs. And reveal to your daughter, Pauline. Hello, Pauline. Hi. The big secret you have had since your 65th birthday and Pauline doesn't know anything about. <laughs> You've got no idea, have you? I haven't got a clue, but I'm a bit scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well... Think about it. Your mother apparently hated the whole process, screamed throughout it <laughs> while she got her first tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a devil. Oh, because... No, I don't know. Just a devil. I like the devils. Do you? No, I like little devils. Nothing romantic. No. Nothing oh, symbolic not, but a devil. Not a heart or anything like that. I'm not like that. Are you not? No, I would rather just have a little devil. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little bit of Satan in, in us. here, is there? There's a devil in us, so... Ooh. OK. Oh, this is the process. Oh, yes. Look oh. at that. Yeah, I can see you were enjoying your birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't tempted to have it anywhere else? Oh, no. No, no. No? No, 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 no. <laughs> it was bad enough there. Was it? Oh, all right. That's my husband. Oh, no, you... He died when I was 43. What's his, what's his name? Brian. Brian. And you lost him when you were quite young. Yeah, I was 43. He was 
we were only 21 years married and I had four kids. Right. You mm. had to bring up the kids on your own without Brian? Yeah, without Brian, but they were fine. I brought them up right. <laughs> Give them a punch now and again, keep them happy. <laughs> no, I love my kids, I do, I still love them, you know. And you didn't, after Brian, meet another man? No. <laughs> nobody good enough. Oh, well, that's fair enough. No, there's nobody good enough. Huh? OK, Anne, well, I feel as if we've learned a lot more about you. Yeah, but Are you happy to continue? I am. I need you, please, to confirm that you chose a box number four at random before all this began. I did. It, of course, is uh, sealed by the independent adjudicator yes. who uh, puts the money in all 22 boxes I and is the only the right person one who knows where the money is. Do you have a system? I've been watching your show since it started. Right. And I thought, oh, I'm going to go that way and that way and that way and that way. So you have perfected I have. a system yes. over but the last three years. <laughs> wow, this is very exciting. It's taken you three years to perfect it has, your system. Yes. I mean, this is better than a fine wine or a whiskey. This, this quite clearly is. I has don't got... like whiskey or wine, I like vodka and coke. <laughs> oh, Away you go, Anne. Have an absolutely brilliant game. <laughs> Number nine. Good luck, Anne. That's a big one, you've had it. You are like a... <laughs> <laughs> you are just like a fine wine, as Noel says, amongst us sour grapes. Oh, right. <gasps> oh, bad lad. Right, you're not going away with 75,000. I'm not. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Next one. He has 22. <laughs> 22, dear. I'm going to miss you a lot, Anne. Of course you are. Good luck, Daddy. Yeah! yeah. Well, you see what I'm doing? Right, Noel. You going with Noel? Twelve. How are you, Noel? I'm all right, fine, thank you. Okay, this is Noel. <laughs> this is Noel. He's seen it all, done it all, forgotten it all. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck. Thank you. Oh, that'll do. Yeah. You're getting darker since you joined us. <laughs> <laughs> I, know the, I know the weather's been ridiculously warm here in Bristol <laughs> over the last few weeks. But it's you... beautiful in Bristol. Have I've you been, been sunbathing. Have you? You've been sunbathing on the roof. <laughs> here it comes. Oh! I oh, don't like it? that. Come for that one. That's one more. I think we'll call her Sun Pat from one, now on. One, two, three, four. Sixteen. Sixteen. Paul. So you're going four off there, leaving three yeah. there. Yeah. Hang on a minute. You've left three there. Oh, have I? Yeah. Surely you're at ten. One, two, three, four. Five, I want five. Yeah, number ten. <laughs> I'll come back to you, Paul. Okay, yeah. I love it when people come with a system they Paul can't remember. <laughs> Hello, Pauline. Hey, hey. Oh, don't do that. Oh. Uh, don't do that. I go, I go very hot oh, when you. No, we both are. Wicked. <laughs> oh, come on, Pauline. Open that box. Yeah. What have you done there? Look at that. Two holes. That's all right. You got two holes. I've got three of his. He's all, I've only got two of mine. It's a shame. Yeah, I suppose you could come out ahead probably with that one. Of course one. I could. Hello, banker. Oh, I bet you wish you were down here with Pauline. <laughs> <laughs> the banker's. The banker says Pauline's influence has spread to all of us, you filthy beasts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> think that she is the ringleader of this debauchery? Madam Sin herself? Anne? Really. Yes, the only hotel room with a revolving door. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrigible, the little devil. <laughs> yeah, keeping the tattoo from her daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Ah, the banker says the nature of the tattoo is what is interesting to him. A little devil, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, has it got you worried? 
Thank you. He's a naughty man. I bet he is, and all. Yes. He, he, feel, he feels, actually, with all the debauchery and the low life that you've, you've brought to the show, that uh, probably he ought to just simply throw his car keys into the middle of the table. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> but he's making the only offer he possibly can. <laughs> Delivered with a straight face by Noel. £6,900. Very good, that's very good. <laughs> so much to the very good, that. Or for the heart of thinking, £6,900. 6900 £6, <laughs> 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 Well, Right, what do I do now? Go on again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to have a tradition in the other 1,063 <laughs> shows at that point, the player would say, uh, could you please ask me the question, Noel? But if you don't oh, want the course. question, then you just... <laughs> <laughs> ask the question, please, Noel. £6,900, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> It's so awful, that noise. Yeah. 14. <laughs> right, we're going for 14. Why are you going to 14 and not 15? Because I start the other side, you know, and I'll do the other side after. OK, you're keeping it. Yeah, keeping it even. OK, we're going with you, Michael. And you're an absolute diamond, love. I hope this is a blow for you. Nineteen. Nineteen. But why wouldn't you go to fifty? Because I'm going over that way in a minute. All right, Dan. Yeah. Apparently, blue, we're we're with you now. A little blue, a penny, please. Hopefully, oh, best luck to one. Best luck to one. Penny. Oh, 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 you're going to get a super snog, Dan. <laughs> if this, oh, look to this. If this is one <laughs> penny. <laughs> best luck, God. Oh, bad lad. Oh, and that's a kiss at the other end. Oh dear, dear, dear. That hole's getting bigger at the bottom. Oh dear. Wow. Well, have we are going to take a break. Yes, I know. I was going to say we'll have a break now. Yeah, do you a... need a break? Yeah. What, what do you want to do in the break? Have another tattoo or a cup of coffee <laughs> or, or whatever? Uh, a cup of tea. A cup of tea. OK, why should the nation return to your game, man? One compelling um... reason. Only one reason. Just one reason is all we need. Oh, just come back. Please don't. <laughs> No, 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 no! <laughs> She's promised tongues! Yes, tongues! <laughs> Actually, when I say welcome back to Anne's game, I don't mean welcome back to Anne's game, because we all know what Anne's game is. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to the opening of these boxes uh, today. <laughs> she right, is rampant. One, Judith, number uh, six. Okay, we're going with Judith. Number six. This system is brilliant. It's of course absolute, it is. Yeah, <laughs> I don't it, know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's got everyone confused. Thank you, Judith. Still confused. I'm going to miss you so much, Anne. Three grand. That's all right. <laughs> Oh, he's back again. Oh, yeah, he's, ba <laughs> he's back again. Well, I think the system's going well. Yeah. Uh, yes, About as well as a square cartwheel. <laughs> Hello. Do you know her surname is Mozzarella? It's Mazella. <laughs> oh, it? Mazella. <laughs> Where's that from then? Mozzarella's cheese. Yeah, <laughs> Italy. Italy. Yeah. Mazella's from Italy. Italy yeah. What does it mean? Just the name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite often a name means something. You know, like Smith from Smithy, you know, blacksmith. Oh, no, I don't know. Probably cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's saying I was right at the beginning of the show that, uh, you know, you need good luck to really do well on this show. That's all right. 
and uh, your name may be mozzarella soft cheese, but it's hard cheese. He's only offering you a grand now for the box. Thousand a pounds. miserable man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hang on a minute. Well, it's, it's not over. I know, uh, that's good, because all the biggins have gone to the vault, yeah. Ask me the question. £1,000, deal or no deal? No deal, no Thank you. Come on! <laughs> Using this fabulous system, we can turn it around. Yes, I'm good for you, hey? Good luck, Anne. Sixteen, Paul. You sure? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What is my next one? Right. This is the penny. The penny or oh, get in there. Come on, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here for the money. She just wants the sex. You ready? Yeah. No. Tongs. Come and give him here. Oh, yeah. 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 That's all right. Good round. Good round. Yeah. Can I do a third one? Yeah. Yeah, this one is one next. Sorry? I get where I was going to go next, was it? Well, I think you were going over to Heath. Uh, oh. Come on, you can yeah, it's 20, that's right. Yeah, yeah well, this is the one piece. One, two, three, four. You could have a bit of fun on the Heath. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for you, Anne. Oh, oh get in oh, there. Oh, I'm ready. Are <laughs> you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, yeah, go Best on. Old blue round with the one P as the climax. Yes! No. Ah, it's all right. <laughs> Four, All right, well, he's going to make great uh, play of the fact that you didn't uh, nibble... Take the pee. <laughs> yes, you didn't take the pee. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very true. That's another way of putting it. Um, hello. <laughs> yes, he says he'd be very grateful if you don't take the pee. <laughs> <laughs> Show him some respect. <laughs> you, you'd like to see her kiss one of these people because she's given it such a build-up. <laughs> When the one P comes out, yes. Oh. So for the first time ever, you would be really disappointed if she's got it in her own box. Oh. <laughs> so you've got a suggestion? You will have to kiss us. <laughs> <laughs> that was his suggestion as well. <laughs> Well, he says he was going to offer you two and a half thousand, but seeing he was also thinking that if you've got the, the, the one, one P <laughs> there, that it should be me to give you a kiss. Um, the two of you are of a like mind. Yeah. And whereas he was going to offer you two and a half thousand, he's doubled it to five thousand. If I could just get rid of that penny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> feel free to feel free to do it in the next round. <laughs> mm. Oh, answer me the question. No, mother, hang on a minute. Eh? What? Think about it. Think about it. Yeah. Five thousand. Yeah, think about <laughs> it. <laughs> Pauline, don't be silly. Five thousand. <laughs> well, quite right. Please think about no, it. No, I think you should think, think about, about it. Look at. I'll wait and see what I take out the next time, right? <laughs> Fair enough. I'll sweet out the banker. I'll show him a good night tonight if he gives me the right money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the question. Yes. Okay, five thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Um. Oh. No deal. Four that way. So I've got seven or twenty-one. Number seven, Marios. Marios, please show us the one P. <laughs> please. <laughs> Good luck now. No, yeah. Mm. I hope we still. Come on then. Come on then. I'm ready for you. No. Oh, that's all right. Twenty-one. Hope this is it. 
blue and wicked in a one few, uh, Yeah, one P. I tell you what, we are going to take a break because I'm heartbroken at the thought <laughs> that I'm not going to get the full and tongue treatment <laughs> as the climax of the show. I, I, I'm just and still frankly do devastated. Can. Come back in a minute. <laughs> Nearly at eight box. Right. And actually, seriously, Anne, if you can get the 10p... Oh, I'll be quite happy. Well, you've created a very strong eight box if yeah. you can find the 10p. Right, Spike. I'm depending on you this time. OK. 10p. Good luck. I hope it is. Passionate. Oh. Ah. You got balance there, really. I have. What do you? Oh, I'll ask you after. Right. Okay. Hello. I've got you going now. I was about to ask him, what does she want to do with the money? Would that be useful to you to know that? I'll ask her then. Hang on one moment, please, Mr. Banker. Uh, what would you do with the money? Well, the first thing I want to do is treat my daughter because she's like since my husband died, now, and since she's been working. She pays me water rates and she pays me television licence, so I've got a television to watch. Oh, that's nice. You know, like, the rest of the family's good as well, you know. So I'd like to treat the whole lot of them. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes. The banker thinks that's a very sweet story, all the things you'd like to do for your oh, family. Oh, yes, for my family. I don't want much for myself. Uh, well, the 1P did go, but 15 and 20, big numbers. Yes, right, true. And he's offering you now 4,500. Oh, right. Hmm. And just put that four and a half thousand. See how much could that help you and help your family and think about it. And you have worked all your life. You'd never save up that much money. And it's you know it's a, it's a gambler's board now. And none of us here want you you know to go away with the blue. We want I you gamble. to treat Pauline. You only hear once, then, you know. So. I've never had any money, so why worry about it? Ask me the question. <laughs> Let me go. I'll see if you can... <laughs> yeah, don't turn around. Yeah, don't look over your shoulder no, at the not... expression that's happening back there. Nothing, Four and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Has to be said, you are a dark horse. Uh huh. She's determined to make the most of this moment. Yes, I'm only here once, anyway. Yeah, fair I'll enough. never get back again. And I've had a great holiday, so. <laughs> okay, this has suddenly become 13. very, very serious. Scott, thank Scott. you. She's determined, and when people are determined to make the most of this one opportunity, they don't always get the boxes that they need. We want right the all blue round. Thank you, Scott. Hope this is a blue one. Gotta be, you're a lovely lad. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Perfect start. Yeah. Hey, this is good. Yeah. Uh, go on, that's the perfect start. Now we're. 17. All right, Sylvie. Sylvie. Can we get, get another blue out of this game? This would be wonderful. Go on. I hope so. Oh, no. oh, it's a ten. That's all right. The two big ones are still there. That's all right. That's all right. You mustn't touch those big ones. That's all right. 
on. If you can keep those two big ones, this would be a yeah. decent five box. It really would. One, two, three, five, eight. No, eight's my number. I don't want it to touch just yet. Staying all right, Deborah. Don't do anything. Oh, Gladys, I'll try number one. OK, Gladys. Uh, yeah, frankly, a thousand downwards, but one of the blues would be brilliant. Thank you. Good luck, Anne. Thank oh, you. All the best, darling. Just not one of those big ones. Not one of those. Yeah! Come well, on, Mr. Banker, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> steady, steady, no, no. It's not the strongest five box we've seen. No, but it's a good one. Well, any five box where you've got uh -huh. two of the power five has got to be good news. Hello. I need a drink. <laughs> you thought that was an extraordinary moment when she said no deal? Why? Oh, the look on Pauline's face. <laughs> well, this is good stuff. Very good stuff. Is it? Yes, yes, that no deal. He, uh, he says he doesn't regard it as uh, courage, uh, because you <laughs> seem too bewildered for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he thought it showed determination, yeah. uh, that you're going to seize the day, carpe diem, you know? Yes, of course yeah. I am. You know, Four and a half didn't work because she's here to make the most of the occasion. So this better be good if you're going to stop her. Yes. OK, he thinks I'm right. He's doubling it to £9,000. <laughs> she's smiling. She's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she may be smiling right at this moment, but it's the next few seconds that are terrifying her. I know. Anne? Terrifying me. I you saw what voice. happened yesterday with John's game. Yeah, I know. Don't want to see you go away with oh, one of them two no, blues, no. darling. £9,000 is an absolutely fantastic offer. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're going to do? Yes, I've made my mind up what I'm going to do. OK, would you like a question? Yes, please. Ah. Ask me the question. Nine... Oh! <laughs> Uh, the banker is saying he's got something else he would like to say that might just make Pauline wince. Oh, dear me, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> when? Yes, this could be a nail-biting oh. moment. If you decide to go on... Uh-huh. ..and you have the nightmare round... Yeah. Your box will be worth just sixty pounds. Yeah. But Anne, if you are true to your word, and you really are here to make the most of this one opportunity. Yeah. And you proceed, and you have the perfect round. Fifty. The blues in there. And a thousand. Million. Your box will be worth forty-one thousand <gasps> pounds. Oh my God! No, that's not fair. He shouldn't do that to me. <laughs> A true life-changing sum oh, of money is. is being dangled in front of you, Anne. Oh, that's terrible. Why did he do that? <laughs> because oh. he oh, wants Anne. to see uh. your daughter collapse <laughs> in a heap of nerves. That's just cruel. Cool. What was your first thing that came to your mind at £9,000? Yes, I know what I, I, know what I was going to do then. Oh. £9,000 is a, is a lot of money. £41,000 isn't guaranteed. No, no I know it's not. Yes, that's right. It. Ah, that's very good, yeah. Anne. It's me. Hello. <laughs> Here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make the, let the banker fool you. You said that you made up your mind. OK. I made my that's... mind up before he phoned. Exactly. I know. So I know what I'm going to do. Ask me the question, please. £9,000. Deal or no deal? Deal. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it in a moment. Let's play on. Let's play on and prove it was a good move. All right.
we'll, we'll find out what the two of you think about that. We'll <laughs> delve into your emotions <laughs> in a moment. But let's play on, Anne, uh, with this crazy nice. <laughs> system of yours and let's prove that that was not only a great decision for you, but actually it was a really astute gameplay move. We have right. potentially a banker spanking here. And having heard some of your comments about female-male relationships and the physical side of those relationships, I think a spanking is something that you would oh, thoroughly... Oh, love in... to do. Yes. <laughs> yes. Isn't it funny how I'd already come to that conclusion? <laughs> so, with your system, we now wish to decimate right. the I'm game. i number eight, cos that's right. my door number. So which... Are... <laughs> number <three. laughs> Well, I think that's a good enough reason, isn't it? It's your door number. Uh -huh. Right. Number three. Right, OK, Rachel, we don't live at number three, so would you please open it? <laughs> no, not the day. No, not today. Go on, is it a biggie? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> One of them out of the way. <laughs> if you want to go... Number five. All right, she would have... She would have gone to number five. Yeah. Can she do it in the first two boxes yes. in this round? Can she prove that there was never, ever life-changing money on the table? Carrie, open box please. number five. No? Oh. All right, we would have been hanging on there. We'd have been thinking, oh, my word, it is here. Except we've now got to prove you made the right decision. I'm assuming you're going with a newbie. Max, welcome to the game. Thank would you, you please much. prove that you, sir, chose £50,000 at the start of the game? Best of luck, Anne. Here it comes. Oh, no! Oh, oh no, Anne! <laughs> Just for a second, you were deliberating about £41,000. Yeah. Actually, Anne... Was your destiny today to win fifty thousand pounds? Not nine thousand, no. but fifty thousand pounds. Hello. Oh, he thinks he's not the first man to have come into contact with you and narrowly avoided a spanking. <laughs> he would have doubled it to eighteen thousand. You were uh, nearly at 18 grand. Oh, Anne. Yeah, how are you feeling about this, Pauline? 9,000 is fantastic. Nine That's grand is fantastic, money. right. I've never had anything like that in my life. OK, you wanted to say a big thank you to your family. Anne, would you now be 50,000 pounds Before you did rich? I would have swapped for number eight, if I got a swap, you see. I would have kept... I would have <laughs> <laughs> if he had given us a swap, I'd have taken number eight over here. <laughs> He's got a swap. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you, you enjoyed that big build I just did. <laughs> <laughs> and you're looking forward to hearing it again, are you? <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. He, uh, because of the huge difference between a thousand and fifty thousand, would have given you the swap. Swap, yeah. So shall we play this out yes, uh -huh. the way? Please, if you don't mind. <laughs> yes, right. I would have gone over to your number, which sits on your door, or is it yeah, to the side my door of the number. door? Okay. It used to be a hundred and eight at the top, and I moved to number eight at the bottom. So, right. Here we are. Then. I always think number eight is a good number. So now this is an interesting twist. <sighs> And the banker is very keen to hear me build it up again. <laughs> and I'm not going to. I no. think we'll just get on with it. Yes. Find out just whether, if you played all the way to the end, whether actually you'd have thrown away the chance to have 50,000 mm. or house number eight, was it going to make 50, you a wealthy woman? No. Hey! You didn't want 50 grand, you'd have Thank thrown you. it away! <laughs> <laughs> oh, please don't give it away, mine. I'm pleased I didn't bring it to the table. You're pleased you gave it away yes. that you didn't bring oh, it to I'm the table. Oh, I'm pleased I give it away instead That would have been it. a horrible moment. Oh, that would have been terrible for me. Yeah, yeah. and what, how would it have been for you, Pauline? <laughs> <laughs> Should have come down and punished us a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think you've been more frightened and nerve wracked than. Uh, than I'd have gone at the first 5,000. You would have. <laughs> and I don't say this to many players, but I honestly don't know what we're going to do without you. <laughs> you've been a real character, and I'm yeah, so pleased okay. you leave us with £9,000. One of our great characters. <laughs> but you know, the marvellous thing is, and I think this is why you'll be back tomorrow, she's not the only great character. They all are extraordinary people, and they are all determined that they will make the most of their one chance in the crazy chair. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And determined to overcome seasickness next on four, it's Coach Trip.